Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to have you here. Unfortunate, things don't always work like they're supposed to. So they called a meeting of the whole the same time as this is. So I'm trying to go in between uh, voting. Uh, but uh, I wanted to be here. The reason why I took up this uh, 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 Jerome's case was because I had been dealing with foreclosure and I felt we had a foreclosure here that we did not help him with. Uh, so I, I just really didn't understand what was going on. He's not in my district and um, he's in Inkster, but I felt that because of me dealing with the foreclosure and he was going through foreclosure that it was certainly my responsibility as an elected official and a county commissioner to try and do something about this. And so that's what I have been trying to do. And uh, uh, this is like our second meeting. We did have one upstairs. Uh, and some of the other commissioners did say that they wish they could come down. Uh, but the meeting is the same time as the, and it's, it is the committee of the whole that, that is meeting upstairs. But let me just say that I will continue to do whatever I can uh, in this case to keep working on it for you. You know, I always believe, my dad told me a long time ago when I, was, when I was a little girl, if I believed in something, to stand up. He said, don't lean for a moment. He said, if you do, they'll ride you and they'll never stop. So I don't intend for any of them to ride me here. I will continue. I've been in the political arena a long time. And uh, this is my second time back at the county. But when I was here before, we didn't have a charter. Uh, and that meant that we didn't have a county exec. We had 27 commissioners. And we were the legislators as well as the administrator. And I chaired human resources. So uh, I'm not used to, uh, not not afraid of doing these things. I've been dealing with these human issues uh, in every position that I have held. Uh, so I will continue to stand up and fight for you all that I can and anyone else that needs my help, you know. I will continue to do that. Uh, I did say to the attorney just the other day that I just believe that all parties could come together rather than us going to court. It just doesn't make sense to continue to give this money to attorneys uh, when we don't have to. Uh, you know, to me, life is simple, but we just make it so complicated, and it is just not fair. Um, but then people say, well, what's fair? I said, what's fair is that we all treat one another alike, you know. We all we, we're all God's children, so we should all be, be treated equally. And, and from what I had learned about this was just what the attorney had said earlier, that you had gotten into a program uh, for the mental, the ill. And I, and I do believe that because you were not mental, that they didn't, weren't able to force those things upon you that they wanted to. And I told them just like that, you know. Uh, and because it was no fault of yours that you were put in the wrong program in the first place. So that's why I will continue to fight for what is fair for you. And so hopefully we can soon resolve this. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, please forgive me for not being able to stay to the whole meeting, but uh, I will try and come back again. Hopefully the meeting is, doesn't last too long. <laughs> All right. All right. God bless you. Know that I love you, and I will continue to fight. Thank you. Thank you.